So as you know, my name is Kiantia Shea, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, all right? So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you want any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get that. Because this reading right now is not for you. Not for you. Not for you. Not for you. All right? Let us go ahead, you all, and get into the reading. I hope that you are doing well, and in the event that you are not, I pray we can transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of all those involved, all right? Let us go ahead and see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Let us see. Messages for feminine. Messages for feminine. Love messages, spirit. What are. Okay. My beloved. Beautiful energy. Aww. My beloved. All right. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time nothing is missing right so the twins are always connected your person wants you to know no matter where in the world they are no matter what's going on between you two right now in the physical you are always connected doesn't matter how far apart doesn't matter what you know how much time has passed none of that all right i'm seeing your messages your comments your emails you know we talk during our readings i know you know for some of you it's been a really long while since you and your love have connected it doesn't matter it's like almost as if no time has passed because it hasn't time is an illusion anyway right so it says when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love right so it's like you know what comes to mind is you know you did me wrong or or someone feels like you did them wrong or, or you've done them wrong something along those lines right however uh when they step back and they look at things, they're like, wait a minute, you know, this is how they were feeling. So this is why they did what they did. This is how he was feeling, you know, or she was feeling or whatever. So this is why I did what I did, you know, sexual union. Some of you are being tempted to go down that path with your person and you're not sure if that's what you would want to do. It is a sacred slash sexual union. Okay. However, some people are not quite ready for that. Like I said, there's some things that you want to sort through first before you even open that door. You know what I mean? So it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay. AKA all those things Blue was just referring to. All of those feelings and emotions and what have you that either you or your person are holding on to from other things. You need to release that in order for there to be progress. I feel like a lot of you have already released that, but this person is holding on to things that maybe they don't realize they are holding on to. That's the way it's coming out for me. Like, I feel like, yeah, the smoke jumped. Um, you guys can see it, right? I put it in the camera so you can actually see it. I don't know if you can. But anyhow, all right. Um... I feel like this person definitely has some things they have not worked through yet. They haven't sorted through yet. Okay. It says criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Okay. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. This may be someone who, and this could be you too, put yourself on whichever side you go, but someone does not like to receive the criticism, but they have no issue dishing it out like here you go here you go here you go everybody take the criticism but when it comes to me i don't know how to deal with that you know like it's something like that going on right so it says love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform that's true that's unconditional love you know not trying to force someone to be something or someone that they aren't do things that they don't like to do or that don't fit their character or 
you know, just making them uncomfortable. Nobody wants to feel like that. Allow somebody to grow in their own time. Okay, so underlying energy here, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. You see? So I wanted to bring it up, but I didn't want to use that word in particular for a very specific reason. However, the word came up on its own. Thank you, spirit. So in the event that you're holding on to resentment when it comes to your partner, you're blocking your heart chakra. You're blocking the heart chakra. Um, and so I also feel a block in the throat chakra because the throat chakra is your valve for your chakras, your seven main chakras. And in the event that you're not able to speak your feelings, you know what I mean? How are you going to see progress in your connection? It's a lot of passion. That's great. However, we need to be able to discuss these deeper feelings and emotions that we're having. You know, that's really important, I would think, when it comes to wanting to be with someone long term. That's what it feels like to me. Like, there's a need to discuss those uncomfortable things. It's not comfortable, but if we don't discuss it, how are we going forward? in our connection so two of wands and justice listen i'm here to do the reading so if it's something that comes up that you're uncomfortable with hearing you know you don't have to watch it please go and check out another one of the readings here see if maybe that suits you better or just another reader in general love love never force the vibe however whatever comes up i'm going to let you know about okay so i mean it comes with my job comes with territory so two of wands is a choice a decision justice karmic path again there's no right or wrong choice right so this person has one to make. We know that. It's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So they'll learn either way. You'll learn either way. It doesn't mean that, you know, they're bad. But someone has resentment that they're holding on to. If this is how you feel, then why would you go that path? Or something like that. You know what I mean? Is something like that going on? Both parties could say the same, I'm sure. You know, if that's how you feel, then why would you go that path? That didn't make any, you know, but see, again, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness because now you're making that person feel bad and they're making you feel bad when they say those types of things. But that's how you feel. Right. So it's like, OK, get through the how it makes you feel about how the other person feels so that you can sort through it. You know, understand that their feelings are valid and there's nothing wrong with how they feel. You know, I just want to keep emphasizing that because I feel like someone here is, is not giving their person the grace or wanting to, but not having the easiest time because you really feel like this person, I don't know, it's like two stubborn energies. They're looking at things from their perspective and how they feel about it. Same thing with you. So it's like, okay, now what? Right? But the thing is, two of cups, we love each other. That's a start. Okay? We love each other. We respect each other. I care about your feelings and I choose to honor them and respect them, you know, because it's a part of you. So if that's how you feel, I'll respect that. I don't have to agree with what you feel, but I do have to respect someone I say I love, you know, that's just how I feel about it. You, know, you, you don't have to respect people you love, child, but do what you want to do, you know. Um, so something along those lines going on here. Yeah, this person could have been offering you something that you feel like just wasn't it and so now that they're making an actual offer to you you're looking like man whatever you know and that keeps coming up um that type of energy when you're like ugh, ugh, you know but it's because at this point you don't think so or you, you started to doubt you know it's like for some of you why do you think blue goes so hard <laughs> You know, some of you really get to that point where you're like, yo, I, I'm done. I am completely and utterly done. And then you scroll on your phone and you see something that's like breaking it all down for you. Doesn't that help? It gives you some sort of comfort, some sort of uh, peace of mind because you're like, yes, okay, there is a chance that we can sort through this. It helps restore your faith. So we have the page of cups again. Like I said, now that somebody is coming to you and actually giving you a cup with something in it, you're looking at it like, because mm -mm. the last three times you came, there was nothing in that cup something like that yeah we got a queen of wands a queen of wands a queen of pentacles all right and i saw the eight of wands sticking his head out the ace of cups now mind you 
the eight of wands was poking his head out. I don't know if you guys saw that. If you um, rewind a little bit, maybe you'll catch it. And then when I went to go fix the deck or correct it, it went back in. So it's something like the person may want to speak something. They're watching to see when the right time will be. Or it's like checking your temperature. Let me see how you feel about this before I say something else. Or something. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. Spirit had to show this person. They want to show them a, from a different point of view. That's what's going on right now. They need to see it from your point of view. Because I feel like for a really long time, this person hasn't. They've only looked at things from their point of view. And as Divine Feminine, you know, we read so many things on, you know, those of us who like to read books, you know, on being the feminine energy and the goddess energy. And a lot of the responsibility is on us, truthfully speaking, when it comes to, you know, just the energy in your home, the energy in your relationship, the energy, just period. Divine feminine, you get what I'm saying? If you know, you know, okay? I'm not about to go down that rabbit hole at this very second. Uh, however, I just feel... Your patience, it started to wear thin to the point where you're like, okay, how much more patience is one expected to display here, spirit? You know, you know what you want and you want someone that knows what they want. It's just that simple. You know, a lot of the time people are so wrapped on getting into alignment with an actual person instead of getting in alignment with the energy. Get in alignment with the energy. The alignment of what you're desiring. Companionship, joy, unconditional love. And in the event that person is those things, there you go, it's gonna be them. You know what I mean? In the event that you are those things, there you go, it's gonna be you. So this whole criticizing one another thing, mm-mm. And Ella May found just came on. Exactly. So in this world of however many people at this point and counting, child, is babies being born every second? We talking right now. Okay? <laughs> like, and counting. Out of all these people in the world, you found one another. Whichever way you did it, you did it. Spirit crossed those paths. This person is glad about this. They're glad they found you and they're tired of hiding their feelings and emotions for you. They're really deep. Also, I don't know, I feel like I keep getting this thing about this person being very intuitive. They have been since they were a child and the people around them made them feel like they were crazy or like put them on crazy pills. Like it's something like that going on here. And now this person doubts their own intuition and what they feel and they shouldn't. All right, let us see. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person is determined to stand up and show you that they're serious this time around. All right, and like this time around is going to be different, my love. Ace of Cups. I come bearing unconditional love. I come bearing truthfulness. I come bearing honesty. Six of Swords, you like truthfulness and honesty, yes, boo, because, <laughs> yes, okay, this person could have been telling you half-truths, so I don't know why they emphasize truthfulness and honesty, but that's they did. Now, with this Five of Swords, it feels like for some of you, not all of you, like, I can't even, right now, it seems like for some of you, this person Whatever they were doing, it was someone else pulling the strings. It wasn't them. Yeah, see? Okay, it was someone else pulling the strings. So Spirit had to show them, hold them upside down. Like, listen, you can actually set yourself free if you want to. It's something like that going on here. You had a judgment card and a chariot. Use your discernment and move forward. But again, people around them have them questioning their own discernment. Undivided energy, two of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Building themselves up. Building up the nerve to make some this offer here again because I don't want you to think that it's not real. You know, I've been 
made everything difficult, not necessarily for us, but this person feels like they just made things difficult in their life by not being able to voice how they're feeling when they're feeling it, okay? Yeah, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands, they feel like they made this difficult because they didn't express how they feel about you and that that passion never went out it never went away the love never died yeah we got the um knight of cups okay knight of cups the page of swords this person could be watching you curious as to if you're still interested in building a relationship with them because ten of cups is the marriage life the home life so this is what they're wanting yeah see page of swords they're watching you wondering if that's even still an option for the two of you all right and if so how is that going to work all right we got the page of cups and we got justice yeah this is your karmic justice this person coming in and apologizing or reconciling with you or is their karmic justice for you to apologize to them i just feel like the scales are being balanced i just want to know if you're my friend i want to know if you're pretending so this person is watching you right now let me see how you handle this let me see how you handle that the hierophant but spirit is showing the both of you that you are and they are what the other thinks you know in a good way yeah ace of cups see double emphasis on that okay this is your love this is your love your true love okay at that this is your true love and so spirit really wants for the both of you to enjoy that and not feel bad or feel guilty because of certain people around you no longer being able to control certain things they should have never been able to control in the first place you know is that type of energy here like who and what and why and you know like what did i miss again Shit. all right let me see this seven of wands the sun they want to stand up and fight for this connection because you make them really happy yeah you make them really happy okay they're like i'm going to stand up and fight for my happiness you know not many things make me happy and you do so what am i going to do stand up and fight for what i feel like is real this person feels like this is the most genuine love they've ever felt in their life and they are more than willing to put in the work this person or you could be really into japanese culture they could be Japanese. You never know, child. Okay, that just came up. So we have the uh, Page of Cups again. See? Double emphasis throughout this reading. Person wants to apologize. They want to reconcile. But what's the point? I want to. I have so many things I want to say. But who are you with? And for some of you, if you are moved on, this person feels like they just, they're sitting here watching you with this person. So why even say anything? You're getting this love and affection from this person. It's like, huh? Again, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. How about express yourself and express your cup and see what feminine does with it? Don't worry about the next person. Perhaps the next person is there because they were expressive, you know? Like, come on, sir. Same thing vice versa, ladies. You can't be upset with your masculine if your masculine has moved on or your masculine is doing other things with other people if you're not willing to speak up on how you feel about this man. So when you get that opportunity to say it, trust me, it may be very nerve-wracking. Say it. Nothing is promised. Wow, that's what comes on right now, spirit. <laughs> Jagged edge. I promise that I'll say true. Don't let nobody say it ain't so. You get what I'm saying? And that's another thing, too. Um, people love thinking that somebody's going to do something to you because, oh, when they was with me, this is what they was doing, and they was doing that, and da-da-da-da. Well, they've evolved, they've grown. There's so many things that go into that, you know what I mean? It's not to say that their actions are justifiable because why would you have done that to somebody that's not that's not cool? You get what I'm saying? However, I feel like we all just want to be happy. And in the event you find someone that is dedicating themselves to making you happy and you're doing the same, you're dedicating yourself to making them happy, yeah, that's something worth okay holding on to yeah all right so the world okay yeah so somebody watches you a lot 
four of swords you get this person peace of mind and it's disturbing their peace that they don't know how you feel they're trying to get you to speak up they're trying to get you to speak up and they're trying to get you to do like other things like i said some of you intimate things and you don't want to go that path with them until you know what's going on you know you're not about to just be out here exchanging energy no we need to know what's going on so we have the ace of cups you know, I'm going to keep all my sacred energy with me until I know what's going on. Like, <laughs> yeah, we got the Ace of Cups. All right. The Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. All right. So the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles to me is like this person getting a new job or somebody's in a position now where they feel like they're able to take care of you or you're so independent that this person could have been intimidated by that. You know, they could have been intimidated by the fact that yeah, high priestess, you're very intuitive. Mm, very intuitive. So this, per oh, I just got something from that. All right, so this person, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but for some of you, the way that you separated is you fell in love, the two of you fell in love with each other. And this person was doing a lot of disappearing, like disappearing acts, and you did some research because the page of swords showed up twice. The high priestess is here. So your intuition was telling you something. You trusted what you felt. Boom, there it is. You saw some things. Because look at this uh, King of Swords card. Okay, I'm going to cover her privates. But on the King of Swords card, I'm going to show you guys. You see what he got going on and how she peeks around and she's looking like, what the hell? And I see the reason he he's not even interested in this. It's just exciting. It's thrilling. It's this, it's that. But his wife sees everything. So this person always knew that you were the one or whatever. So they weren't going to say certain things they were doing. They weren't ready, you know. And so um, they didn't want to lose you. They weren't ready. It was just too many things going on at once. But they don't want to lose you still. They love you. They really want to, they want to make this right. And they're trying to find the best way to go about doing it. And I'm not making excuses for this person. I'm just doing the reading. All right, so let's see. You're very intuitive. You knew what was going on. A lot of you know that this love offer is coming. You know they're about to express themselves. Here's that Eight of Wands, and they're going to have a lot to say. This person has so many things that they want to say. They're watching you. They made their decision. Page of Swords, the Lovers. They want you to trust. They want you to trust this brand new beginning. They want you to trust that this time will be different. Well, I guess that's a sign because this now, um, what is the name of this song, Bryson Tiller Lewis? All right, Exchange. So Exchange just came on, okay? So this person's like, give me all of you in exchange for me. I have no problem giving you me because you're the one that I want. Give me all of you in exchange for me. So again, for those of you who this person has to watch you be with other people, dating or actually with someone in a relationship, that's all they be thinking about. That the fact that they feel like they lost you and they can't even trust the people around around them. <clears throat> but again, they can't speak up on those things because hmm. a lot of them feel like first of all you're gonna criticize, you're gonna judge, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. <clears throat> I don't think so. Here we have the three of cups, see, third party. Mm -mm. This is what they want to talk to you about, re, uh, reuniting with their love. Two of cups, yeah. No more third party. I just want to reunite with you. Six of swords. I want things to get better with us. You know, I know you know how to make me jealous. Because they like, I was never loyal if you tell it, but... You weren't because you were hiding whatever this third party was until Feminine found out. Then when Feminine found out, it's like, oh, yeah, that is what was happening. Like, huh? We have the Ace of Pentacles. They want to make this offer to you. This is my engagement ring. All right. You're the person that they want to marry. 
okay that's double emphasis on that with the ten of cups and the ace of pentacles i always laugh when i see the ace of pentacles card and it's so funny with it coming out after the two of cups the two of cups is them making love right look at them sweet love making going on here that sexual union energy and then the ace of pentacles it looked like they just finished look <laughs> homie like yeah i just put that work in you know what i'm saying she like whoo that was good baby i feel so good <laughs> I'm so distressed right now, ready for the next work week. Ooh, ooh. She's like, magical Mondays. Here we come. You know, she's ready. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so funny. All right, let us see. Say what's up with you. They feel like they were scrolling through the gram. They had to follow you. Say what's up with you. You're so damn cute. They was like, wait a minute. Who is that? Who is that? And why are they in my suggestions? Who is that? <laughs> All right. It says tranquility, peaceful mind and heart, freedom from the past. Oh. Hmm. I'm hearing they knew what their hurts were. They didn't know what your hurts were. They wanted to know them. They know them now, and so they know what to transmute. It's not what they were thinking. They thought that your hurts were like, you hated them for being with karmic, and you resented them, and they're realizing like, oh wait, no, you don't resent me actually, okay. That was me mad at you, because I thought you was mad at me, oh. <laughs> like, no, I just want you to be happy. I want you to do what makes you happy. And that's why they're like, you, you are what makes me happy. I want to be with you, you know? Yeah, I want you to do whatever makes you happy, dude. You know, that's the person you want to be with. That's the person you want to marry. All right, let's go ahead. What are your colors? What is the date? All right, congratulations. Have a beautiful life. Have many babies, you know. And then that person is like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. You know, because that's not what they want. It's not, it's not what they want. It's never what they want. That was in the moment. That moment has passed. They want long term. They want stable. They want secure. That's what you always were for this person. And that's why they wanted to play. Have you not know what was going on? Keep you there. And it, it just didn't work like that. All right. So we have offer. It says gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoice in your union. You know, like if I meet the woman that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, but I know I'm out here still playing and dogging, I might want to go play and dog a little bit more before i say oh you know what let me go ahead you know what i mean so that's just i mean what i feel is common sense but free will right so it says choices decisions contact and action action cannot be forced can't force the person to do anything i mean if they would like to do it then cool but it's not something that you can force you know and then two are you ready to receive you know they come and make this offer. Are you ready to receive? Because like I said, for some of you, this person has been watching you. You're dating. You're moved on. And not all of you, but some of you. And also, ladies, by the way, sometimes it's not so good to look so available. All right? And I'll just say that. But, you know, this person, they need you to be open-minded and ready to receive when they approach. Okay? So it says, abundant. It's your time to receive. Look, see? Karmic partner. Some of you might be like, oh, Blue, no, no, no. Blue know what she be feeling when it's there. I done done over. Listen, I done so many readings, child. I don't even know. It's in the thousands, okay? Tell you that. So, and I'm talking about personals. Way before even coming over to the tube, you know? So, listen. Observe. It's per like, what did I say? Person is watching you, okay? Via social media, fascination, curiosity. Now, here's the thing. Whether they are watching you via social media or they are somewhere around you, doesn't really matter. They're watching you, okay? Watching from a distance, doesn't matter. This person has been in regret for a really long time over not having said what they really wanted to say, which is those three magic words, you know? And they've been afraid this whole time to tell you that they really love you, you know? But here's this offer all right gesture engagement wedding rejoice in your union all right what are these two yeah masculine surrenders Woo! that came out like that they surrender no problem no problem free fall 
free will. This person is jumping, free fall. Detach, trust, free fall. Have faith that all will be well. Your divine masculine surrenders. Wow. Let's go then. Let's go, DMs. Look at them. Proud of them. Surrender. Beautiful energy here. Okay, what? You surrender to this love. All this love. All will be well. Know that. The sun card here? Definitely. Okay, compromise. Mm -hmm. Mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards. A sin. This person has been leveling up spiritually. Okay. Destruction. Going through a lot of tower moments right now. All right. Unexpected changes bring forth new opportunities. So, I mean, you could be going through a lot of tower moments. You're like, why is all of this happening? Because your masculine is making their way back to you. Regret. Okay. Um, divine feminine and masculine, you're really, really powerful. Okay. And there's this energy here where it's like a, a how do I put it? There's this energy here where it's like a, anytime the twins feel away, whether it be a positive or negative emotion, and you send that energy into the universe, guess what? It, in many ways, may directly affect your twin, okay? However, it's definitely going to affect you, right? And, and so if this person is like sending this energy into the world of being in regret and wanting your forgiveness and surrendering and all that, what do you think is going to happen? Spirit's going to make sure you guys cross paths again. So this person gets the opportunity to show you that they're serious about this love offer that they want to make, okay? They're not joking, All right, they are not joking at all. Let's go ahead and pull from the Dear Empress deck. Available for purchase over on my website. All right, is it bad that I fantasize about you? It's as if I can't control myself. You fill me with passion. I want to return the energy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's what I said about that Two of Cups and that um, Ace of Pentacles. It's like they want to tap into that sexual energy that you guys share. It's a sacred sexual connection it truly is and um you're not going to feel any other love like that that you get from your counterpart and you're not going to ever make any love like you would with that <laughs> with your counterpart like i can't even get my words together so just know okay okay so um and it's because of the energies it's because of you being connected on each and every level this person is naughty as hell it's the sounds you slash it makes for me. You have no idea how much you turn me on. I'm cracking up in my head because I'm like, this person is naughty as hell. Meanwhile, this blue deck, right? However, <laughs> however, these are channeled messages from the divine masculines to their feminines. Remember that, um, let me go find that card in here. That page of cups card in this deck had the person sitting at the table writing love notes that they're unable to send. They don't want this person to walk away, but they're unaware of how to say what it is that they would like to say, how to properly express themselves. And it's not helping if they see you out here with somebody else or if this person is insecure or maybe this person has trust issues. Whatever it is, it definitely has not been easy for them to come up with the words to say. Do you guys see this card? Like, hold up. Okay, look at this. And so this person had gotten to the energy of feeling away, wanting to say certain things, but not knowing what, yeah, not knowing what to say. And then they get to a point of, okay, let me express myself. But now that they're expressing themselves, you may not believe them. Or here's the thing too with the Eight of Pentacles, somebody else is investing. But for some of you, damn, this is crazy. This is wild. Somebody is investing into you. It's just, it's not your masculine do you know it's like when it's the person it's the person if it ain't the person then it ain't the person and you can't force it you know what i mean so it's like you can't force yourself to feel the things that you would feel if it were your masculine it, it's just i don't really know so again they can't force themselves to feel the things that they would feel if it were you it's different so Put yourself on whichever side you go, but see, there isn't anyone else who could ever make me feel the way you do. Do you see? Put yourself whichever side you go. You make me sing high notes. <laughs> mm. 
You be having them making sounds they don't make. I don't do that. <laughs> Your lips are so soft. I want to kiss you. Can I? Why all the naughty cards want to come out right now? What's going on? All right. Let me have my family and friends didn't approve of you because you were married or have children. So some of you could have met this person while you were still in a like marriage. And what people don't know is, it's what I say, be careful, you're married again, and all that other stuff. But you could have met this person while you were married or while they were married. Uh, for whatever reason, not divorcing, separated, whatever, who knows? But there was something here that this person was like, oh, I don't know about that. Or their family was like, I don't know about that. Because as far as we can see, they knew about that. Their family and friends, okay? Or you could have been a parent. And again, they knew about you. So here's the thing. You're not dating somebody. Like people are like, oh, you know, it's a package deal. Yes, it's a package deal. However, people need to also be mindful and use the discernment. And two of pentacles is a package deal when you're dating someone with child or children. However, the child or children are not a part of the relationship. They're a part of whatever you guys built thereafter, building a relationship. But the children are not a part of the relationship. That has to be built between the two of you and spirit. That foundation is appropriate, then yes, you get what I'm saying. Go ahead, meet the children, the child, or whatever. You don't just bring people around your child and children. That's not how that works. So I feel like that was not a them thing. That was a people around them thing. And we have the underlying energy again. You make me sing high notes. Okay, so what is this? There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you. Aw, see, it's not a them thing. Any obstacle slash challenge is minute compared to my love for you. Here's the thing. When you have two people that are willing to make it work, it's going to work. And that's it. And that's what I feel. I feel like we have two twins that are ready to come together, ready for all of the nonsense and whatever else they were going through to be done and over with. You get what I'm saying? Ready to move this thing forward in a positive direction. And so that's what's going to happen. All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have grace.